this is what happens the heart why is the lord preparing the heart because some hearts they are so full for the purposes of understanding all manner of things that even though the lord would love to deliver us the heart is so full the problem of Hannah was bitterness. She carried strife. She carried self-pity. It was there. And some, they are the small foxes. Laziness. You know? Being on Facebook is not necessarily sin but is a necessary weight that makes you not to run. If you look at this woman the way she was swift, that was why she was able to capture some seasons. Did you hear what she told the man who was riding the horse? The ass? Drive it. Slack and not. Because I have to be where the man of God is on time. She even knew where the man of God was. All these things clogging our heart. Grudges. Things that somebody did for you 10 years ago. They are secure in your heart. Yeah? The abuse that you received from your father or your mother is securely shut in your heart. Yeah? The way they dismissed you from that job is in your heart. Yeah? Unforgiveness securely shut in your heart. And the Lord is saying the preparation of the heart, that is every garbage. The enemy knows where to deposit it. Yeah? If it is sexual sin, secure. Hypocrisy safely in your heart. The devils even don't try much because your heart is open to every other garbage. And now your cup is running over. And here you are. Send us your Holy Spirit. Father, we want, to cons we want to see you work in London. We want to see your glory. We want to see you at work. The Lord is ever ready to pour out his spirit, to pour out his power. He's ever ready to show himself strong on behalf of those who fear him. We have sung and said he's a covenant keeping God. Do you think God cannot heal families? Do you think God cannot save the young generation? Do you think God cannot restore land? When he says if my people who are called by my name, they are the solution to the nation. He is not a man to lie. This nation is not too strong for God. He can bring it to himself. But what will he use? So, who is withholding the rain? Who is withholding God's power? When the Lord is about to do something, like he says in, in the book of Hosea, when I was about to heal Ephraim, his sin appeared before me again. And it's like God is ever in the process. Ever in the process of withholding. Now, the Shunammite woman decided to prepare the bed. Hannah prepared this bed. 
And the Bible says, and he stood before the Lord. And she started emptying her heart. She was removing one thing. It is not about Penina, Lord. It is about your purpose. It is not about striving with others. It is not about what was done to me. I let it go because your presence is sweeter than bitterness and grudges. Just as I am, I come, Lord, and I want to empty my heart to you. Come to me, all you who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And when the heart was emptied, the Bible says that night, the following night, as Hannah went to bed, the seed of God came because the heart was right. Conception took place. The first person to notice was Elikana. The first person to notice was the husband of this man, this woman. Something has happened. And what does that mean? For the car to run over. This is your heart. You can now conceive the burden of the Lord. I want us to walk together. We will clear the mess later. By the way, revival is messy. It's very messy. It destroys order. Praise the name of the Lord. For this is you. This is her heart. This is God. As your heart runneth over. The cup runneth over. Just hold it as we walk. As the rain comes, Wales is receiving the rain. London is receiving the rain. And people are rejoicing because there is a running over. May the Lord prepare our hearts today. May we enter our hearts to Him. May we cry to Him this day. It is you we desire. It is you we want. With God we are an unbeatable team. With God there is no mountain we can't climb. With God there is no river we cannot cross. God is saying give me your hearts. A broken and a contrite heart. The Lord will reject, not reject. That's why the Bible says when God was talking to the, uh, Philip and he said, Philip, I am in you and you are in me. We are in God. We are hidden in God. And when we are in him, there is no mountain we cannot come. 